I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. This video is one in a series I did with my friend Ryan Harrell there sitting next to me in which we go through every single one of the BL Heli 32 options and tell you what they do and, most importantly, when you might want to change them. If you look down in the video description, there is a playlist link with all of the other videos in this series where we, you can learn everything about BL Heli 32 and if that's what you're into, go check that playlist out. So current protection is another way you can protect against block props and fried mm -hmm. ESCs. And this, this came in with BL-32 ESCs that have current sensors right. in them. Basically, the ESC, since it's detecting the current anyway, right. if you go over you know, with certain amps, it'll basically just clamp off and, and slow the, right. lower the throttle. Correct. Now, that's off by default, or did I turn that off? No, no it's off by default. So. And, and uh, there's an argument to, to be made for leaving it off because um, when you have current limiting uh, turned on, it, uh, it will have some impact on those acceleration points. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you look here, even even with the timing reduced, we're looking at 130 amps. Just for, for a that. few right. microseconds or right. milliseconds. Right. right. This, this is, I mean, by, this is like seven milliseconds in, it's completely stabilized. Right. By four milliseconds in, it's reduced by like three quarters. That, that number, so, that, to, to you and me, that's not surprising because I think that number may surprise a lot of people. Well, that's actually more than that. That's, that's like 95 milliseconds in. And that's like 30, like 40 milliseconds in. By 40 milliseconds, it's... It's down in a reasonable range. Right. That, that number may surprise a lot of people to, that the spike is 130 amps, like that, that the ESC does, doesn't immediately explode, that the battery doesn't... Because right. you've got four motors and they're all doing this. Right. You, could, you could, for a few milliseconds at a time, pull 400 amps, yeah. potentially. But then it just drops off immediately. Right, and right. That's it just happens. It happens so fast that the battery and the ESCs don't even have time to react right. to it. So, like, eventually over time, that will wear on your hardware. Um, and that's you know, if you're going to have a failure due to sustained use, it's going to be a, a result of that kind of yeah that kind of damage over time. But it's minuscule. So turning on current protection will will sort of edge take the edge off those peaks. Mm -hmm. What effect does that have? like on flight performance? Uh, well, it's just going to basically reduce the maximum rate at which your propellers can change RPMs. So you, you might feel a little bit more prop wash. You might feel a little bit less snap when you do mm -hmm. instant stops and instant rolls. Um, but that's uh, if, uh, you know, I discovered this back in the day because KISS has implemented current limiting. That's right. Some Once time. again, something that KISS did first. Right. <laughs> credit where credit's so due. So it... Um, but as a result, their their acceleration curves were always much slower than the other ESCs. And that's one of the reasons I always preferred the feel of BL Heli because it's much sharper. It's much crisper. But freestyle pilots loved that. KISS. I have heard this conjecture that out. KISS ESCs were smoother because they had current limiting, which made the props respond yep. slower, yep. which sounds like a bad thing. But if you're going for smoothness, yeah. it isn't. So, um, so, so we've got current protection. We could turn it on. And I don't know. I mean, you could say – you might be tempted to say, well, I've got a 25-amp ESC. I'm going to set it at 25 amps. No, yeah. no. The ESC can handle bursts. Mm -hmm. But you could make yeah, your quad yeah. so respond a little smoother by, and protect it against overcurrent. And you can control the degree to which it smooths things out. So you could, limit, you could limit it down to like 110 amps or something like right. that, which would only – which would – you know, reduce the current peak down to something like, see, this is 103 amps. Yeah. So you can kind of predict from that what, what you're looking at for mm -hmm. this particular prop and motor combination. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, there's, there's definitely, you could, you could look at, for instance, if you had a motor and a prop that I have tested, you could go to my website, mm -hmm. you could pull up that, look at the spike, see what it is and see like, well, how much do I want to reduce that? Yeah. How much do I want to risk? Um, you yeah. know, and then make your current protection limit no. based on that. Well, one thing to – because I've heard also from people who've turned this way down. They turn it down to like 30 or 40 amps. Mm -hmm. And what happens then, especially if you're at full throttle, you'll get a full throttle oscillation mm -hmm. because the, e the ESC hits the limit and backs off and hits the limit yeah. and backs off. So if you set this too low, you will get yourself in trouble. But mm -hmm. that's another way to protect against desyncs, protect against popping mm -hmm. ESCs if maybe your ESCs are a little cheap and maybe a little not, not the mm -hmm. strongest. Mm -hmm. Um that's another thing you can do. I guess ramp up power and current protection sort of work together. Yeah, they they're they're related. They're kind of doing just, the same thing. They're using a different mechanism to, to limit to that limit spike. So the okay. the ramp up power is limiting the the how long the FETs can be on for, mm -hmm. and the current protection is detecting the current and then backing off the beta. It's using the same mechanism in the end, but it's using the current as the defined point mm -hmm. instead of using just the maximum delta. As that may the be why point. it's off by default. Mm -hmm. You know, okay.
And that is going to bring us to the end of this video. But of course, there's a whole lot of other BLH32 options and Ryan and I will be covering every single one of them. Look down in the video description. There's a link to a playlist. And if some of those videos are private, it just means they haven't come out yet. There's like an hour of content here. So come back to the channel and eventually all of them will be released. And then you can uh, learn everything you want to know about BLH32. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying.